Hi, welcome to section 3 of Make My Sitting Template. Today I like to create the temporary files which are, will operate the main sheets like seating template. So these temporary files will operate the seating template from behind. We can hide it using the hide option. Let's go to the name list page and let's do some modification here. So select the serial number and now I'm going to enter a few names here. So the serial number is 1234, I have entered it but now I'm going to enter the names. So by entering the names, let's see here we can do some automation. For your easy understanding, I like to give each department a name and name them as 1, 2, 3, 4. So here for each name, I can enter the serial number. Instead of entering it, now I am going to automate it. So I am going to use if formula. When, begins, when you begin with the formula, begin with equal to if, double click it. So the logic is when there is a name, if Durga Devi 1 is the name. So if there is a name, the A3 cell must have 1. So when there is a name, it must be 1. And if there is no name, it must be empty. So now the first logic is if is equal to empty. So when I give that two double inverted commas it is empty so if it is empty the value is true the value should be empty but if it is not empty it must enter one so now the formula have checked that there is some value and it has entered it as one but the second one must come two and the third one must come three and it should come like this so for that what can i do now so i can enter it by two and for third one by entering it 3 and the fourth one by entering it 4 but it is very hard to do for many cells if I it goes more than 50 or 60 for that I can follow one step for that I have created the temp file let's see how I'm going to do by taking the reference from the temp file small change in the formula select that equal to the same thing if double click it and if there is some value if b3 is equal to empty then leave it empty comma if it that's value falls enter one that is temp a2 click enter so now it has come that it is got the reference from the temp page by clicking it by dragging it throughout the whole table you can have this formula there so i have dragged it till the end of the table so the table is still 51 so i have entered that formula and this formula checks that whether there is any value in the b column and it enters the number serial number based on this so i have only 25 names and it has shown 25 number so follow the same thing for the other department also when you enter the name let's learn some shortcuts when you copy a content from one table to another so now how i have copied from a3 to e3 and it is displaying it as zero so what has happened there is a reference problem e2 so when you come to temp e2 there's nothing so it is 
A2. So when I copied from A3 to E3, it has changed the reference. As you know, when it's copy a formula, it will change the reference. So I want to lock the reference. So add a dollar symbol before A. So when you add a dollar symbol, now copy it. It will not change the reference. So copy it and paste it. So now see there is no change in the reference but there is one more thing table D1 but the department 2 table name is D2 so I want to change the table name to D2 so when you do it once it will change for all the columns that is the one of the great advantage of using table. So do the same for all other departments in the same way copy it paste it and change the reference that is the table reference to their respective department for department 2 d2 department 3 d3 and keep changing it Now how can I protect a sheet so that others cannot edit it? When you see the columns A, E, I, the serial number columns has the formulas. So when I delete it, it just simply gets deleted. So I want to protect the sheet so that others may not edit it. So let's see how can I do it. Select the first column A and press Ctrl A. It will select all the columns in the sheet. Now go to format and select format cells here select protection and uncheck locked when I do this it shows the error see the column serial number is showing some error that means whenever you unprotect the cell which has formulas it shows error now select it by pressing shift Ctrl and down arrow keys again press Ctrl and select column cell E3 and again press shift Ctrl down arrow keys it will select all the all that column so if you want to select all the columns of the seven departments at one just select it by pressing in the same manner press Ctrl and select M3 and again press shift Ctrl down arrow key it will select all again press ctrl and select q3 and press shift ctrl down arrow so like this you can select the all other seven departments
now select format format cells and go to protection and check locked and hidden and click ok now see the error being disappeared and all the cells been locked but is it locked if i delete it it gets deleted so what can i do with it go to review select protect sheet and if you have the for password give the password or if you can leave it empty and click ok so now if i press cut i cannot edit it because it is protected and it shows the error but i can edit other cells because it is not protected so i can delete it i can enter other names and so on like this you can protect the particular cells which you want that this should not be edited so let's create a new temporary sheet for the name list it is it will be easy if we create the temporary sheet and by taking the reference from the main name list that will create and work from behind you can track the sheet from one place to another i am bringing it near to the name list sheet I dragged it for 200 names but there in the table there is only 51 names so it shows more than 51 it shows us error because there is no table by name d1 in that place so just delete those one and there you can see that the empty cells of the table d1 is shown as zero so I want not to have this zero here so I want going to use the same formula equal to if there is a empty space I want to enter it as empty so use the same formula which we have used for the serial number in the table So let's do it for the rest of the department select it and copy and select insert copied cells so we are done but the name list is not been changed so let's see how we can do it
create another temporary file for the seating page alone and which will operate behind the screen so rename it has seat temp seating and i want to drag it near to the seating page this one will take and collect all the data which we have entered that is the number of students because it is being spread all over the pages so it will take the data and it will bring those data in one place let's see how i'm going to do it So this table shows the number of students being allotted in each hall with a respective department. So I want to bring the count from that seating page to this one place which will be easy for us to uh, work with the formulas in the coming, uh, in the coming shades. Since we haven't entered any number of students, so it will display as zero. So that's the end of this section and let's meet again in the fourth section.